Okay, so here's a few um, helpful hints on how to do the problems with hybridization and sigma and pi bonds. The uh, podcast explains um, how they work, but the and it sounds a little bit complicated, and it actually can get quite complicated, but the questions that you get asked are very easy to answer, um, and I'll show you how easy it is with these uh, just a couple slides. So hybridization, when you're asked what the hybridization is, you're always talking about around a specific atom. So, for instance, if you're asked about this, you're going to be asked about um, around this carbon or that carbon. or So they'll always specify around what atom, or, or they'll say around the central atom. And um, there are three that you have to know, three hybridizations that you have to know for the new AP curriculum. And the way you need to think about the hybridization when answering these questions is that if I look at SP, for instance, there's a 1 that's not written here and there's a 1 that's not written here. And if I add up those subscripts or those superscripts, they come out to 2. Whereas if I have SP2 hybridization, that adds up 1 plus 2 is 3. And the SP3 is a 1 plus 3 equals 4. And what you want is you want this number um, represents the number of electron of electron domains. So let's see how we apply this. That's what this number is, right? And, and that therefore that number tells you what this is. So around the first structure here I have carbon with four hydrogens and if I'm looking at the hybridization around that carbon I count electron domains. One, two, three, Four, and the one that has four is sp3 so this is sp3 hybridized if I look at this structure I have one two three electron domains so that hybridization is going to be sp2 so this points out that it doesn't matter whether I have a single bond or a triple bond or a lone pair they all count as electron domains and then the last example here is where I have this carbon so I'm going to talk about the hybridization around this carbon, and it has one, two electron domains, so that's going to be sp hybridized. Pretty simple, right? Let's take a look at sigma and pi bonds. Okay, so if I look at the same structure for sigma and pi bonds, the way it works is if I have a sing single bond, that is a sigma bond. If I have a double bond, one of those is a sigma bond and one of those is a pi bond. And following from that, if I have a triple bond, the first is a sigma and the second two are pi. Okay, so let's apply that here. So the question is around this carbon atom, how many sigma bonds do I have? And the answer is one, two, three, four, four sigma. How many pi bonds do I have? I have zero pi because they're all single bonds. Single bonds can only be sigma. So if I look at around this carbon, how many sigma bonds do I have? Well, this is a sigma bond, and one of these is a sigma bond, so I have two sigmas. And because this is a double bond, the second bond in that double is going to be a pi. So I have two sigma and one pi. If I look at around this carbon atom, I have one sigma bond, and in this triple bond, the first is a sigma, the second and the third are pi. So I have two sigmas and two pi's. Alright, so I hope that helped.